Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO. And I'm Money Most, by the way. And we creating content every damn day. Man, hold up. I done up and done it, man. I got this guy in here, man. The last time he was on the show, the show went up, man. This guy right here, he really don't need no introduction, man. If you're on the internet and you really, really checking out what's going on, when any breaking thing happens, this guy's all the way on it. Especially for our culture. This guy right here, man, I got so much love and respect for. Anytime I call him, he pick up the phone. Ever since we've been doing this, man, I kind of started a little bit after him, man. But the boy, he cold with what he do, man. My boy Crisco is in the building. What's good, baby? You know I'm in the building, man. What's man. good? Man. Man, What's thank good? you so much for coming on the show again, man. Come on, man. You One of the most away, solid dudes in this metro area, the Dallas area. One of my favorite people to interview is in the building, man. Thank you so much, man. That's great. Salute, man. Too. Yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well I seen you on the show. That's why I told you, man, like you on that show. And I was like, man, get off that show if you ain't gonna man, what did you doing? You better bring some essence to it. He was like, man, I gotta yeah, okay, I'm a, and as soon as I told him that, he went back on it again. That, yeah. that was the first time. Oh, that, that's wild. Man. <laughs> hey, that show, man, you never know what's going to happen, man. Let me tell you something. In that, in that chat, yeah, man, it, man, it's everything going on. Niggas might be getting a chick pregnant in that chat. Niggas, some people got married out that chat. Niggas got beat up out that chat. I'm talking, you never know what's going on in mm -hmm. my chat, bro. I got the best chat, I feel like, on YouTube when it comes to that live stream, bro. And they Niggas, say any and everything. Any bro. and everything. I let any anything, everything. anything go. Anything. anything goes on my show. Man, I just man, you know when I when I think about just all of the current events that have been popping up, man, I see a lot of things that happen, man, and you always seem to get that information that I couldn't fathom how you got these people, bro. Yeah. Like that's one of the things that I admire about your show is that I look up and see somebody on there and be like, damn, man, how did he even go out and get it? So, and I don't want you to get a game up, but just is it just because you was just so aggressive at reaching out to him? Is it because you was on uh, that Cheetah show? You know how to do it. What What the hell is it? Yeah, bro. I just you know what I mean. I'm just, I stay in the mix. Not to mention, remember I got I got I got what thirty moderators that work for me. You feel me? So wow. Yeah, they gonna reach out to people. We gonna you know we gonna hashtag. We gonna we gonna and I don't mind jumping in your inbox too. I don't yeah. mind jumping right in there myself telling you, hey fam, there's some shit going on. You need to pull up. It was some, it's been up. a lot of like like people seeing you moving and a lot of times and you know already as you go up, people gonna hate. Yeah. Uh, I I seen. And got a lot of calls behind your show and I didn't even I'm being real I didn't even know why like I think it was maybe because you came on here and people wanted to see if they could get on because you got on yeah. and, and they start telling me all these different things but I'm type of dude man it's rock solid with me for what I met and who I know and how I felt about you so you can't defame nobody's character by calling me like 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 what was I doing when he said that that's the question I be having when people call me and say man such 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 what was you saying? I just listened and real, but then I, I I knew it was going one ear and not the other. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was you know, like, okay, man, I'm gonna holler back at you because I didn't know you. Yeah. Man, one thing I won't do is give people energy that I really don't know. And plus, real. a lot of these niggas retarded, bro. A lot of these niggas some internet troll, had these niggas at home with their mama and shit. Like they don't, they don't look. People online, bro, are not who they say they is. I had to learn that. When I first yep. started doing YouTube, I used to say, everybody, we know, man, this nigga said this, he said that. I realized, I mean, these people ain't shit. And the ones that talk these crazy. These people ain't shit. They at home with, <laughs> bro, half these people mentally ill, half these people disturbed, half these people at the crib, bro, it locked in their bedroom. Stop, yeah, don't get these people offline, no energy, bro. None. No, None. And, that, and that's something that we, we have to be we have to be careful about because people, man, there's people calling, it's, it's all type of stuff going on, people trying to get on because they see your work and the stuff that you're doing, they want to be a part of yeah. getting on, yeah. so yeah. they feel like if I can call him or figure out a way to get something out for yeah. him. Don't call him, yeah, don't call, yeah. No, don't, hey, don't, don't call say this him. Too. Yeah. Do not DM me for trying to go on this show either. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Do not DM me at all. Cause I'm not gonna do it for you. I'm not gonna put you on the show. I don't care who you is, especially if I know you. I'm not gonna do it because I know you. Right. Wow, right. man. So and the reason why, no, the reason why I say it is because people think that just because you know him, you can get him on the show and stuff. No, I don't like that, bro. Work and get on the show like everybody else do. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, I, I, I can agree. You're right. You're right. Niggas yeah. will hit your inbox. Like, hey, nigga, you ain't done nothing. We don't exactly. know you, fam. You ain't done nothing. What you, just like niggas be putting my they music video in my inbox, fam. I have a deal where y'all can pay me two hundred dollars and you come on the show and I play the video. Quit putting that. Exactly. I nigga, I ain't, who am I? Rainwater. <laughs> nigga, right, nigga, I don't want your record, fam. Look, if you want your song, look, I got a live show. If anybody want their music played, they got videos, bro, I, you know what I mean? I'll play it. Remember, when we play that, that's going to do what? 
copyright no strikers. Copyright strikers. Yeah, so you got to pay us for that. You got, you want me to, look, nigga, I pay me and I'll play your shit. And I said I might not go back and cut it out later on either about a couple of days. No, 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 no. We got, got, to. got to. Got to. Yeah. 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 You got to. But it is what it is. Because you really don't want that type of energy on your channel. Exactly. It, unless it's organically done from a place where you can legitimize it, it don't make sense to do it. Exactly. Man, so, man, I, I Flip shouted you out on something here, too. What was that? What was he that? shouted you out on something. I'm trying to think back. It made, or oh, was it because you played his song? Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's something song. like that. Yeah, the, the We Blow Indoor record. I most definitely blew the record back up. You back know what up, I mean? brought yeah, it, it back. Of, That's what it was. Man, it was one of his freestyles he did. You know, if I was a young cat with 16, 17, we jamming that. Yeah, I, I got my show. I said, you know what? I need an intro. But I had to think. I said, you know what? If we screw the music up, they can't do nothing about it. Right. You feel me? If the right. song is screwed up. So what I did was I had to find a song. I said, you know what? I'm going to rock with my guy, Lil Flip, the We Blow Endo. It's already screwed up. I'm going to play that. So then they can't copyright strike me. Wow. But y'all most definitely blew that nigga record. But nigga, owe me a check. To be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. And Flip watching this nigga, you owe me a check, nigga. I need this, man. Salute to my guy, though. That's my nigga. But yeah. <laughs> nigga, you owe me a check. I blew that shit right back up. Man, I, I, like I said, I, I think I had Renette on here and they did that uh, uh, Bar Baby song over again yeah. with Flip. Yeah. And, and it's just good to see the momentum change and where a person can get back into the midst of things, whether it be by via songs that was already done, you remake them, or TikTok, or, you know, stuff like that. Are you doing any more music or are you just out of the game? You, you know what? I'm actually, bro, I don't, niggas always want me to do music. I did a record with Tum Tum not too long ago. Really? And, yeah, but you know, I, I'm just, man, I just, I'm focused on what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to catch up to DJ Academics. That's like my, you know what I mean? Like, Ooh. nigga, that's my site right now. You feel so me? You don't want to be a manager? Me a, a manager? Man, oh, I'm here we go. I'm I know I know where this is going. I don't need one. I don't need one. I don't need one. I don't need a manager. I'm going to say this, nigga. Hell no. The last place, like Rainwater, that's my guy. I shop up with Rain every day, but I don't see how niggas put up with these artists these days, bro. I can't be at the clubs. I can't I can't be out about these young niggas are dumb niggas. Salute to them all. But these young niggas are dumb niggas. And man, I ain't yeah, I ain't trying to yeah, I help you out. I play your music. Yeah. Whatever we doing via online. Not yeah. fucking with you, but nigga, nah, I ain't going outside with these young niggas no more. Fan. Hell, nah, they got I, it. I hate to ask you, but I got to ask you because yeah. it was so in the face, man. Got to. When the security guy, I guess Mo Three O's kid, I don't really know him. But I seen y'all go mm -hmm. at it. Was that something that y'all staged, or was that real? Because you look like you was serious. As no, that. I was serious, fam. Yeah, I was serious. You talking about now? Was now was was uh was he joking around? Maybe so. He hit me up and said he was joking at the time. You talking about Sean G? Sean G. Sean G. That's him, man. Shout yeah. out Sean G, man. Sean G. Yeah. And and, and, yeah. and I was telling, asking Rain about him. He said he was on house arrest or something. Yeah, yeah. He on house arrest. Yeah. So but, I was like, dang, man, y'all look so serious. Nah, I'm gonna say this, look, bro. I'm gonna say this, nigga. I was serious. Like, you know what I mean? Now he, now he told me, yeah, nigga, it was a play. Like, you know what I mean? He was bullshitting. But actually, what happened was he must have sent me a text saying, I got a play I want to run, and I didn't catch it in time. You feel me? Yeah. So, so my energy real. I don't know if he joking or not. But at the end of the day, now, nah, uh, salute to him, fam. You know what I mean? And R.I.P. Mo3. That's the man, main thing. Man, R.I.P. Mo3. Man, a lot of people, like, I just had Kogati on here. But uh, it's just something else to see the impact of what his music did yeah. even here after he passed away man um, yeah, Luke uh, got him, man. you know is there any like what what sticks out the most because that's when you first started your yep. run on yeah, the, bro, on most three, bro. yeah, yeah. Three. so so that was that's a big I, and i even mentioned it i believe to rain one on here too yeah. uh -huh. just the fact the last time we spoke like how uh, this, this and I mentioned it to Kogati that how it, it kind of pretty much made it to where a lot of people, not just you, a lot of people, even this platform, I've always talked about his legacy. Yeah, not only his, but as you, Dolph, and all these other people. And I, I remember one day, man, people. It's something else. When somebody passed away, man, it's tough on, on that family trying to figure it out for the yeah. next so many years. Mm -hmm. And I don't think people have a chance to heal. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I really don't. Because I, I see a lot of people just go in like Rain. This dude went in from that point until now. Yeah, yeah. Rain no Rain you no know, Rain is a uh, he, he a hustler, but Rain understood the game. When it comes to these bloggers, he still do. Man, Rain hey, Rain opened the door mm -hmm. up for these bloggers. Yeah. Niggas won't say it, but I'm yeah. gonna say it. Rain water opened the, the gate up for the Dallas bloggers, fam. You know what I mean? From me from and I'm gonna say a lot of niggas got their own shit going, but for the most part, Rain, when it comes to the live streamers, 
I'm gonna say I'm only gonna speak on me. Nah, Rainwater came. You know he pulled up. He took hell on them shows. He made, made made show that was niggas exactly. accused him of killing Mo three. He didn't. He pulled up every night, bro. He 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 started to just get to the point where he didn't give a damn no more. He said if they gonna say it, fuck it. But I'm gonna promote something. I'm gonna get the new album coming out. He dip off. So wow. now nah, Rain perfected the whole game with all the bloggers. I'm talking the DFW for him going to every single platform. Yeah, so he don't mind going. Yeah, there. you know what I mean. P- pulling up everywhere, you know, getting it off. But I learned though, Rain was making money like that, nigga. Rain Rain admits he's going to all these platforms. Platform shit, they, they got the bag up. Yeah, yeah, that's so, real. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, so salute to Rainwater, man. Nigga, I always, yeah, I rock with them, fam. When I, since I've been doing this live stream, ain't nobody rock with me harder than Rainwater, bro. You wow. Feel me? So yeah, salute to that nigga, fam. Let me hey. ask you this, man. I got. I, did you want to go? I was about to say hey, he proved me wrong now. Like Rain wouldn't prove me all the way wrong because, like I said, when he first got here, yeah. he was talking crazy. But now, as you see him moving right, like some other even did, yeah. like he moving, like he moving in a smart way, bro. Yeah, like he not with that dumb shit no more. He don't care about that. As long as you you making music and he want to hear, uh, it's like for the world to hear, he gonna he gonna fuck with you. Yeah, child, the baby C, Bumpy Johnson, you know what I mean? Yeah, he, yeah, he got he got Bumpy Johnson. You been seeing Bumpy Johnson yeah. singing on here? Yeah, yeah. I, I, see, I, 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 I see y'all showing that love though yeah. to you know what I mean yeah. to Rain and the artists. You know what I mean? Baby C on here, I done seen him. Yeah, yeah, y'all showing love, bro. Boss always do that. I always do that, man. Um, I seen you in the documentary, man. I think you had one of the hardest. Bro, like, that yo, shit was hard, Yours, bro. the way you were delivering. Come on, fam. Come on, bro. <laughs> you were delivering, on, man. Bro. So just run me down through there, like, on how, how that even happened. How did that, What's his name? Latham. Uh, what's his name? Van Latham. Van Latham. Van Latham. Latham. You yeah. interviewed him, too. But yeah. just run me down through there on how they even rocked with you, how they got with you. Because I interviewed Soldier Slim. Uh, and his sister, yeah. Soldier Slim, a uh, little, little Soldier Slim, and his uh, Amy Peaches, and they was telling me about theirs. Yeah. Just run me down through yeah. on how they reach out to you and all. Salute that. to Fifty Cent, Mona Scott, that Van Lathan, that whole play. But uh, once again, you know what I mean. Um, I got the call through Rainwater. Really? You know what I'm talking about? Rainwater hit me up and say, hey fam, they doing this and they wanna, you know, they wanna, they wanna, they looking through shit and they, they, they done ran across you, nigga, and they want you on here, fam. You know what I mean? Hit them up. So uh, I think he was out of like, and it was out of like me and Mr. Hit That Hoe. It was like put one more person like in the space and salute to Mr. Hit That Hoe. You know what I mean? Man, I, that's I, my boy. Yeah, salute to that nigga, man. They, they threw, I thought he was going to be on. I'm not sure if he did an interview or what. Because I know Cole Gotti did an interview and they didn't put him on there. Really? Yeah, Cole Gotti actually did an interview. Man, him, and, him and my man, dog, that's dude. That's his brother. That's his brother. So I didn't, I thought that was, you know what I mean? I, I seen some goofy people they had on there. You feel me? I seen a goofy nigga with a cowboy hat on. You feel me? I seen a goofy bitch with a blonde wig on. Them people had no business being on that show. But, you know, so why they took Kogati off, that was, I didn't understand that, bro. I, I disagree with that. But, like I said, Rainwater hit me up, told me they was, you know, putting it together. I, they reached out to me, bro. I went up there, salute to Van Lathan. We did the show. And I told Van Lathan, hey, nigga, I did this. Nigga, you gonna do mine. He did it. That's hard. And, hey, look, and Gina could a nice check, too, bro. No, yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna say this: some people didn't even know it. If you don't know the game, some people didn't even know to ask for to get money. Some niggas did it for free, but I had the game. I've been mm-hmm. in this business, so I already knew. And, and they he, and they cut the check. They, and not to mention, they could have checked. They could have second check. Get out of here, yeah, man! Bro. Yeah, but some people didn't get it. Some niggas don't know no better. They don't know the business. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to ask for. They don't I'm know the pretty sure it was a lot of people that didn't do. You just helped a lot of people out. For yeah. this. <laughs> hey, that's yeah, crazy. Hey, if you're dealing with this entertainment world, they don't always cut a check for you, y'all. Y'all yeah, just gotta y'all get to know what y'all doing, bro. Yeah. They gonna always know. Yeah. The the, the thing I I, I I fathom, man, is the the fact of how you stayed in tune with it, how when you was speaking, you was basically, you was running down through there, and you said that you didn't think, like, you was like, nah, this was something, this wasn't just, this was a hit or something. Yeah. And you may tell Explain you why I say that. that. Explain mean, that to me. Look, I'm going to say this because the reason I say that, bro, is because simply one reason. Okay. You know, because Mo3 said it. Really? Yeah, Mo3 said it. I only, I only said that I feel like it was a hit on Mo3 because Mo3 said, if I got money on my head, I'm hearing this, yeah, I'm hearing he that. I'm hearing, yeah, I'm hearing niggas trying to kill me. He been saying that. That's so, all his songs say about it. All yeah. his songs tell you what's going on. So you that's why I feel him. like, shit, nigga, why would I not? I'm going to go with what he thought was going on with his own life. Right. Why would I, nigga, that's if, something if he that's, said they had a hit on me, I, I that's believe That's what Soldier Slim's mother said about if you want to know anything about her son, go I, in her episode, she said, go listen to his listen music. Listen to the music. And that's what you're really saying. Like, exactly. Go, I listen to the music. Listen and to the interviews, the mm-hmm. music, you feel me? So on top of that, like I said, I'm going to say this one more time, too. Any nigga, bro, come on, man. We all done been outside. Any mm-hmm. niggas, we ain't trying to, we, bro, you hit a, you, you kill a nigga, bro, in broad daylight and spin the damn Camaro, bro, around facing oncoming traffic, nigga. Bro, that's not a normal crime, fam. No, it ain't. That's not a normal, bro. Niggas ain't getting down like that. It's on normal. That's a jail mission. That's a TDC mission. You know you gone. This shit don't go right. Yeah. You turn the car around the opposite way, facing traffic. 
<laughs> man, somebody paid them niggas to do that. Yeah. Bro. Let's stop playing, bro. Wow. Them niggas ain't jumped out the window like that. Like I said on the show, the dude who you see chasing Mo3 down, that ain't Devin Brown. That's not, you know what I mean? That ain't that ain't the baby daddy of the girl. So I feel like who did it? I don't know who's behind it, but it's. I feel like it's a bag. But who's group. behind the bag? It was a I group. don't know. It was a group of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so when you, I know I, I spoke to Kogati a little bit about it, mm -hmm. and one thing he assured me was that it was a still ongoing investigation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that's what he told me. Yeah. And I, I was like, no, nah, didn't they catch the people? He was no, like, they didn't catch them. He said, no. Well, nah, 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 they do got two people in custody. For but he know. said that it's an ongoing investigation. Yeah. yeah. But he it's, it's not for that murder, though. They're not, they're not for that murder, what they got him for. That's not for that. That's what he said. No, that's well, not I'm for gonna that. Well, I'm going to say this. Um, far as what they locked up for, I, I mean. No, that's from other charges. I didn't keep up no, no, with it. No, no, no. Let me say this. Let me say this. Devin Brown and, and uh, Banzo Bling both had previous cases yeah, already. Yeah. So, but they got, but don't get it fucked up. They got them niggas down there for the murder of Mo3, but it has, I don't know if they put the charges on them yet, but that's, no. what they, that's what they got them down there for. Remember, the girl Jossie, who Mo3 leaving her crib, y'all, she the one who told the police he did it. She the one who told the laws, it's something weird about this nigga popping up at my crib at 10 o'clock in the morning. He don't even fuck with his kids like that. What, what was he doing here? So remember, she the one who led the police to her own baby daddy and this, and this other nigga. Not the bloggers, not no... Brother, bro, it was the girl Mo3 hit last. last you know what I mean? Jocelyn, yeah. what girl he, he was kicking with last. She called the Dallas police and went and did an interview, sat down and said something ain't right. Somebody killed that boy up the street leaving my house and my baby daddy just popped up out of nowhere. She gave him that information, bro. Salute to her mama, T Topic. She be on my show all the time. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So that's where that information came from with the dude. Everybody think this is like some kind of conspiracy. No, his own baby mama said, I believe he play a part in this. But I, I believe she said it because females be knowing. So, um, so going back into the, the, the documentary, you spoke on the young lady. Yeah. Uh, what was her name again? That was that's Jossie Banks. Jossie yeah, Banks. Jossie, Jossie, Jossie Banks. Banks. Was she, uh, do you, how did you feel about her when you seen the documentary and what she was saying? Um, I felt like, you know, I, I think she was being sincere, bro. I don't, you know what I mean? I felt like, you know, she was kicking with Mo3. Remember, Mo3 put a picture of her. Y'all don't know, Mo3 put a picture, a video of her kids on Facebook wearing his jewelry, throwing money around, right? Her baby daddy sees that. That's what upsets the nigga. This girl never did nothing to, to amp this beef up. You feel me? Mo3 posted it, bruh. You feel me? Like, so everybody be looking at her like they mad at her. Bruh, she was just rocking with Mo3, bruh. You feel me? I don't feel like she did nothing wrong. They say Mo3 was comfortable over there. Mo3 knew he her. Was. Yeah, he knew he knew her sisters. And they you know what I mean? They, I mean, they, was, they seemed to be kind of tight from what I know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. they say Mo3, you know, rock with her like that. You know what I mean? From... From what I know, you know what I'm saying. So I don't feel like that girl play a part in nothing, bro. I'm be honest with you. I don't. I feel like you know the, her baby daddy play a part. I'm, that's what the Dallas police said. Remember, I'm not investigating my nigga. That's what the <laughs> Dallas police said. They picking them niggas up, not me. So yeah, I'm just going off with what, what's going on in the media, fam. Like I said, we don't break the news. <laughs> nigga, we just break the news down. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. So when you when you look at uh, uh, Van Latham, yeah. and the way his delivery was on the questions that was being asked. Do you feel like uh, that? What do you think the show even done? What is it doing? What does it do for our culture, our community? Is what is the end game that you see? Because you was involved in it now. What is that show doing? What is Fifty doing? What is what's the other girl uh, trying to trying to be like me? You know what I mean? Yeah, niggas got bit bit my whole damn style. Right, that's it, bro. The nigga just bit my whole style. When I heard about the show coming out. I was like, oh, this shit look like what I do. Because the first thing 50 said was, we're not trying to solve crimes. We just talk about, I said, oh, nigga, y'all done ran off with all nigga whole drip. So they might as well have cut me a check and put me on the show because they stole my idea, bro. If you think people ain't watching my show, they oh, are. Oh, for sure. Uh, they are. Everybody watching. Yeah, they, I found out Black Youngster watches my show. Really? Yeah. And to my That's guy, hard. Yeah, yeah That's Black hard. Youngster. Even though they say he's missing right now, they, 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 <laughs> nigga, I don't know what's going on. Kanye will miss they, another they, week. Kanye was missing. Now this nigga miss. He missed off the internet. Yeah. Who, uh, Black, That's it. Yeah, exactly. Both right. Of them. Right. Nigga just missing off the internet. But, That's uh, all. But yeah, so at the end of the day, bro, yeah, I just, you know, you, you know feel I mean? like it, it basically bit your style. Yeah, it bit my style, I feel like, bro. So, and, and they invited me back for season two as well, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, they already invited me back for season two. Because uh, uh, they probably going to do Dolph. They probably end up doing Dolph, yeah. They're going to do Dolph. Yeah. And, uh -huh. and just to talk about that a little bit, yeah. thank you for the Makita Cookies. Uh, what was that young lady name? I, 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 Ray, it's Raven. Raven. Yeah, Raven. Raven. And the yeah. boy name was Trick or Trick or Trick. Trick or Trick. That boy ride trick with trade. you, boy. They ride yeah. with yeah, you. Salute too. to Raven. Salute to 901 Trick or Trick, man. Yeah, they, yeah, I mean, they, they, thank they, they you for bringing them over, yeah. man. So just just a, a little bit about that whole case, because I, I, I seen where later on it seemed like one of your affiliates. <laughs> Was on that show, was on that the, the the detectives was investigating him or yeah. they arrested him. What 
And and then they try to say you had you 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 was in it again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What the heck was that all about? Explain to me how do Clover G's end up getting to be a part of this? What is that? Um, what happened is is you know we was cover. I'm, I'm been covering Dolph. You know I, I got the I did the um I did the uh, the Raven interview. You know what I mean I did the Raven interview and um from that point on, bro, a lot of bloggers and niggas start kind of gunning at me saying that Cookie Shot got something to do with it, right? Yeah. So I think we kind of showed that 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 ain't, that ain't real. They making up shit, niggas clout chasing online. But while doing this, I also got you know my own Makita's cookie. You know what I mean? Salute to uh, you know uh, to Raven and them. They gave my own cookie called a Scoberry cookie. So hey. we, we do we doing a lot. We just we we grind and we turning up with Memphis. So meanwhile, you know. Um, a lot of cash desto, you know okay. what I mean. A lot of cash desto gets murdered in Houston. You know somebody you know shot her in the head in Houston, and uh, her father. I remember that? Yeah, her father mm -hmm. is a uh, is a is a Clover G was a was a Clover G member of ours. Me and Lil Flip, you know the whole gang. You know his name is uh Quit. You know what okay, it's Quit. And um, it turns out I you know I hadn't talked to him in a while. Somebody killed his daughter. We we all reach out, give our condolences to him, and then me and him start chopping it up. You know what I mean? Because I'm telling him, you know, if you want to come on the show, fam, and speak on your daughter, you know. This ain't got nothing to do with no, no, no Dolph Memphis shit, nothing like that. This is just straight, you want to come speak on your daughter. You know what I mean? Because remember, I'm not knowing nothing about this Dolph shit or nothing like that that's, mm -hmm. that's going on, on on no ends. You know, besides what we covering on the uh, show and, and the cookie shop and all that. But as far as what's going on in Memphis with all the niggas that live in Memphis, I don't know. So uh, I talked to him, fam. I'm talking to him every day for about two weeks. And he decided he going to come on the show. Bet. Now, because of that chat, we're not going to do it live. We're going we gonna to pre-record it. You yeah, know what I'm talking about? Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, he didn't make the interview, my nigga. And I, I went to Houston to go see Takeoff. You know what I mean? Go see Takeoff where he got killed and all that. I talked to him. I tell him that we're going to do the interview tomorrow. We get, I'm getting ready for the interview. I hit him up. He's not answering. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn, where this nigga at? You know, we got to talk about death, though. You know what I mean? RIP. Mm -hmm. I look at the news, and he didn't make the interview because he was getting arrested for the murder of Dolph. You know what I mean? So, wow. Yeah, yeah. I looked at the news. He getting arrested for the murder of Dolph. I'm confused. What the fuck going on? You know what I mean? I've been hearing these little rumors, and you know what I mean, about shit, but I don't know what's real and what's not. So, yeah. But that's most definitely a dude who, yeah, we used to be. You Is know, he still I, locked up now? Yeah, bro. I mean, from what it looked like, I mean, you know. They convicting him on that? I'm, I'm not for sure yet. Right now, you know, he just, I mean, he they was one of the last ones arrested. Yeah, I think it's like four or five Didn't people they, in total. I heard that, well, I ain't gonna go with it. I, I've seen in the blogs, and I don't know how real it was, that they arrested uh, Yo Gotti's brother. I ain't gonna lie. No, that, that wasn't real. No, that was not fake. real. Yeah, Big Jook has not been arrested. So why did they say that? Because people want clout. Yeah, bro, clout chasing, conspiracy theories, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, salute to Big Jook. So, you know what I mean? Man, salute, salute to, to Yo Gotti. Yeah. Yo Gotti. I don't know, yeah, I don't know why somebody would say that uh, he was arrested. You know what I mean? They just kept throwing them rumors out there. But there was a lot of rumors going around that whole situation uh, 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 because of uh, Makita Cookies and because <laughs> yep. of Raven, what she said online. Yep. I even asked her on here about yep. it. I was like, you the last play you know i say you had did a video and she told me about why she did it they are in memphis man if you you yeah. can rock with both you know what i mean like like most people do bro and yeah. if you from memphis you most definitely got man you rock with Gotti. you rock with money bag yeah yo, you jamming you know what i mean all them niggas and memphis is the hottest in the south right now with for finesse sure two times for sure and gorilla you feel me? So, for sure. Yeah, if you're in Memphis, man, you're going to rock you gonna rock paper, work, paper route and, uh, you know, uh, CMG, bro. If you're a real Memphis nigga, you know what I mean? That's for real. Yeah, ain't about choosing no sides, bro. When the hell we had to do that in music? Even with Biggie and Pac, nigga, they both jam. They both you jam. You me? So it is what it is. Yeah, if you're a normal person, you shouldn't feel like you have to even decide. Nigga, they ain't got shit to do with you. Nothing. I don't get why people feel they got to choose a side. Man, jam what you jam. Bro, they want a little street like on the internet. Exactly. Most of these I internet agree. niggas faking the motherfucker. Everybody got a side. Everybody this and that. Everybody love Dolph so much. Nigga, you didn't even know Dolph. Stop you it, man. Never you met didn't know it. Dolph, fam. You didn't meet it. So that, that's how I felt. About. I felt like, you know, with my show, I cover hip-hop. We just going to break it down. We not going to pick no sides. We just going to break it down talk about what's out there, bro. And that's what my job is online, not to pick a side with nobody. It's just to break down what's going on. When, when shit drop, we going to cover it. But we don't have, I'm not saying, oh, yeah, I know who killed a nigga. Oh, yeah. I, I know, nigga, I don't know shit. I wasn't there. I'm not a detective, fam. I'm not on the scene dusting for fingerprints, interviewing niggas. I don't know. Just like no blogger knows. Every blogger who goes live or who talk about um, what's going on with Takeoff and Young Dolph and Mo3, them niggas lying, bro. They don't know shit. They just leave clickbait titles, clickbait pictures. I'm the only nigga gonna pull up and say, hey, I don't know what's going on, but we gonna chop it up together about what's in the, in the media. Everybody else fucking lying, bro. I can't stand these bitch-ass blogger niggas, bro. I'm being dead serious, bro. They make me itch when I see half these niggas online because some of these niggas play gangster one minute, then they play police the next. I'm like, man, I'll be gonna them. slap the shit That's out of these them, blogger man. niggas, bro. Boy, That's man, these niggas be so gangster. Niggas be, boy, niggas be gangster next minute. They be, uh, oh, man, I know who, y'all going to jail. I'll be like, 
Yeah, I can't rock with that, bro. So, Man. Yeah, these bloggers, bro. I'm, I, I hate to even be associated with some I'm of these niggas. The police bro. are watching uh, social media. Which mm-hmm. one of the episodes stick out the most to you that that you've you, you that you've done? Oh sh- man, I got so many. I'm gonna say, uh, let me say, I got so many, man. Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say two. Let me give you two. I'm gonna say the one where we did a uh, we did a, a date for Rainwater, fam. Rain went to Atlanta to have a date. He, uh, we did a dating show on my show. A girl named salute to my moderator. A girl named OG Skinny Minnie. She went to my moderator. She won the date, and Rain flew to Atlanta to go have a date with her. And the show was eight hours. Eight hours show from sun up to I mean from uh from the club time to the sun went down. Another girl showed up, started hating on skinny mini. They almost got into a fight. Rainwater, man, bro, it was a crazy. If y'all Classic. get a chance, it, it's on my channel, man. It's called uh it's called And uh, you ran it the Rain, whole time? The whole time. Rainwater takes over Atlanta, bro. Classic episode, bro. That's classic. hard, bro. Yeah, classic. What's the next one? Uh, man, I gotta go other not too long ago. You know, uh, I had uh, uh, a a cat from uh from Miami. He from he from LA, but he moved to Miami. And he the cat who got into it with Charleston White. Remember, he ran up. Remember, Charles had the girl in front of him and the dude trying to fight yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. He, his name Options. He a blood from uh, from L.A. His name Options. He came on the show and he in Miami. And Dewberry is in Miami. Wow. And and they both on two different screens looking for each other. Walking through the streets of Miami. Nigga, where you at? Nigga, nigga, where you at? Where you at? Then Charleston White calls in. Ah oh, man, that shit went. Yeah, it, it got. Cr- it's on on that show. Yeah, on that show, man, and, and, and that's on Say No to Scope TV. We got two channels. I got Just Say No to Scope and Say No I to Scope TV. I seen that. You know what I'm yeah, so yeah. What, so what made you do two channels? Nigga, they 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 demonetize me. Why? Yeah, they they bro. I do too much, fam. I'm mean, they they warned me. They was like, hey, bro, slow down. With, you know, with some of the cuss words, with some of the things y'all got going over. There. But I'm be honest with you, bro. If I can't have fun, I don't want to do the fucking show. I can do something else. Bro. What was it? What was it? It was because you was cursing on. It the was show? just about. I mean, I'm not for sure what it. I guess it was about. They just, couldn't tell you why. No, nah, they just tell you, hey, man. You know, because uh, you're start, you're start live. Age, they start so age restricting the content. You know what I mean? They start age restricting, and you start looking like, hold up, what's going on, bro? So. Yeah, on YouTube, you gotta be, bro, on YouTube, you gotta be careful. Bro, I had things on my channel that happened. One time, the other night, a girl took, on New Year's Eve, a girl took her top down and put with shaving cream, I mean, uh, whipped cream all over. Yeah. That video is still up and it's monetized. So with YouTube, bro, you don't you know, don't really bro. Know. Yeah, you, yeah, you don't. You never know what they're gonna keep, what they're gonna not keep. YouTube, it's a billion people on the app, and they just gotta catch what they can, do what they can, bro. You know what wow. I mean? YouTube is the real streets when it comes to uh, the police. No, they, they promote what they want to promote. Yeah, exactly. You know what yeah, I mean? Exactly what that is. Yeah, I mean, they, they in the game to make money for sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, everybody so knows six seals. What, what about Facebook? Do you even do anything with the no, Facebook? No, I, I don't really mess with Facebook, too. My, my, my moderator's on Facebook. You know what I mean? You got cream in the mix. You know, I got my own other shows on there. Too, so you got cream in the mix. You got a, uh, you got a uh, uh, pressure licious, the vampire slayer. You got a uh, skull mysterious. You got a uh, uh, skoka Hannes. I got all wow. these different channels. Your high maintenance, uh, uh, OG skinny mini sipping with skinny. I got a lot of different shows, so I use them to kind of go on Facebook and Instagram and, and promo and do things for me. But other than that, now nah, I'm, I'm more on the gram, bro. What are you? What are you planning this year different than last year? Because you went in in 2022. In 2023, what is the what is the ultimate goal for man? Staying away uh, from a lot of these. TV. Yeah, staying away from a lot of these bitches. You know what? To be honest with you, and let me keep clean my language. I just said that. Just let me clean my language. I just said that. See, that's why I be getting in trouble. But I think the main thing I want to do, bro, is just tend to my own and not care, bro. You feel me? You can't care no more, bro. bro. That's yeah. the thing, bro. You can't care. You about can't nothing care no more. no more, dog. Because I used to. I think last year I had like a little bit of a heart, and mm-hmm. it was certain things. I didn't want this year. Now, I don't care. I do whatever, fam. I mean, if it's, it's yeah. going down. Pull up to the show, it, man. We doing whatever over there. You feel wow. me? Yeah. So this year, I don't care no more. Who? Uh, who? Uh, okay. I like the way you locked in with uh, the Lathan guy. I keep thinking yeah. that Van Lathan. Van Lathan. Yeah. I like the way you locked in with him, and you, 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 so keen and on point with understanding. When I go into a situation, I got to be on key on what I'm going to do to try to pull and project what I need out of this too. Yeah. So, what was the thing that you? Most uh, keyed into when you was interviewing this guy, uh, Van Lathan. Um, man, I, you know, to be honest with you, I got what I wanted at the end of the show. Him announcing that, say, fam, we bringing you back on season <coughs> two. That's that's what I wanted, bro. That's I, hard. I, I got the energy. You no, know, I did his show. I had the energy when he came on my show. I had the energy, and that's how I ended it off with, man. We bringing you back. So in April, I'm be actually going to G Unit Studios, bro. You know what I mean? That's Lincoln hard. Over here. That's hard. Yeah, I got a lot. I got a lot. I got some cooking with World Star right now. Some really? With JT Barnett. Yeah, we got some things we finna start doing with World Star. Bro, I'm I'm working, bro. Working. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna work it. You gonna during show push yeah. that narrative? Yeah, I'm gonna work and it. And ain't nothing wrong with that, man. So yeah. so uh, I was looking. At, I just seen you had a, a 
What's that boy name down there in Memphis? Uh, Project, Project Pat. Pat. I just, Project Pat. Oh, come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, <laughs> come on <laughs> man. <laughs> them kids, they don't know nothing about that. We lost them. Oh, yeah, my kids <laughs> in the business. Who's my kids, man? They don't know nothing about no, uh, no Project Pat, man. So, mine either, but let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's, okay, so what was what, what was the deal with that? And, and we're going to RIP the Gangsta Boo. Yeah, really. You know, let's yeah. say that first. Yeah, rest in peace, Boo. Uh, uh, what 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 was the that was the key element? that was the key yeah I want to bring them on there because I most definitely want to hear somebody from Memphis who knew Boo you know what I mean kind of speak on Boo show Boo that love man plus I, I do a lot with Memphis anyway with the Dolph situation we got to know Memphis real hard my yeah. chat is lit up with Memphis. with Memphis so I knew they wanted Project Pat you feel me I knew they wanted him to pull up so I hit the OG he pulled up. We spoke on a lot of different things. We spoke on, you know, the, just the, the, the we, he said, I mean, he said he rock with Dolph. You know, he said he had a relationship with him. He cool. He said he loved what Yo Gotti is doing, wow. the whole CMG. So, I mean, Pat just showed love to Memphis, period. He an OG. You know I mean? He yeah. rock with all the new tap, the new acts, the money bags, the glow rillers, the, you know, he just want to see Memphis keep doing what they doing, bro. So, salute to Project Pat for pulling up, man. Just yeah. give me give me some, and, and I, I don't want to go too far into it, but I know you've been looking into it. Yeah. Like, when it come down to these the the situation where people are dying on these fentanyls and these drug uh what what is up with that like what is the what is the solution you know you know what it ain't no solution but really I mean you can't see it yeah. you can't see fentanyl so at the end of the day they say Gangsta Boo and her brother was you know they sound like from what it sound like they had a powder pack on them it sound like her brother took the powder first he was you know they both they both hitting that powder he overdosed first if y'all don't know her brother OD in the, in the same night. He goes to the hospital. He shake back. That nigga shake fully back. She goes to the crib and die on the front porch. So I'm thinking from what I, from what it sounds like. I could, you know what I mean? You know, everything's allegedly, you know what I mean? But that's what they read in the report that she was found on the porch. And it was an overdose. And then we know for a fact that her brother overdosed earlier that night. So I'm thinking they was, they was snowing out the same pack. You feel I me? Mean? That's Damn. Or the fentanyl. same person. Yeah, yeah, fentanyl, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's still like a fentanyl pack. It's still like, and they say Gangsta Boo was found with it on her. They said when they found her body, the, you know, it was, uh, you know, they said they found, you know, uh, drugs on her. Wow. So, I mean, yeah, and, and she a legend, man. You know, we all love Gangsta Boo, you know what I mean? She, you know, she been doing her thing for the longest. But if you remember watching, uh, I don't know if y'all seen the hip-hop boot camp. Yeah. They almost threw off the yeah. show because they yeah. found cocaine in the room on yeah. the show. Yeah, yeah. So, I think Gangsta Boo most definitely probably, you know, had a, you know, had a situation where she probably needed some help. Needed somebody to reach out to, but you know it was too late. She said that Triple Six Mafia, the ones who introduced her to cocaine. Wow. Yeah, and, and, and she talking about like far as the music go, the whole scene they got into. She said that's when she first started doing it, when she started rocking with them boys. So I mean, I guess you gotta, you know, it's some shit you start doing when you're younger, but you'll never shake that devil, bro. That's what happened to her. She grew up. She was, you know, she a grown woman now, but it was just one thing she couldn't shake, and that was them goddamn drugs. And you know, Triple Six was on some. You feel me? They used to push that whole, <clears throat> that whole, you know, no drug shit. But they was all younger too, bro. So you know what I mean? When I look at that that scene, I feel like, man, you gotta shake that monkey off your back, nigga. Leave them, leave them pills alone, that you cocaine alone. You feel me? Yeah, all, anything with fentanyl. You gotta leave it alone. What, yeah. what about? Yeah, cause, cause even Master P's daughter, she you yeah. know, yep. ended oh, up yep. R. R. to her. You yep. know, like, um, end up passing away and drug related. Yep. Um, and it just to see people still dealing with that. Even though it, it's got to be a strong addiction. You may tell you something, bro. You remember the story of Lynn Bias? You remember Lynn Bias? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lynn Bias was, uh, if y'all don't know, Lynn Bias was a first-round draft pick who went to the uh, Boston Celtics back in the day. <clears throat> and, um, you know, big, strong, healthy guy. Man, nigga took some cocaine, snorted some powder one night, and this is right before he went to the NBA. He got drafted. You know, they, they get, get, got him a check, everything. He, he done blew up. He big now. Never played one game in the NBA. Nigga snorted some powder one night, whole heart locked up on him, died. Ever since I heard that story, I was like, man, that shit'll never be for me. No. I never do cocaine, no pills, no nothing. Now, everybody know you'll see Sco hitting that gas. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. Like I say, you know what I mean? Like the C B D up every show. Like the C B D up, like the Reggie up. You know, like, That's yeah. it. But other than that, yeah, bro, I don't I don't condone drugs, bro. Cocaine, pills. Y'all don't know what's in that shit. You I know, don't know. I, I know niggas out here that got uh, pill press machines. Wow. They press up their own pills. I know that too. Yeah, they press their own pills. That's, That's what they, crazy, bro. You never know what niggas cutting them pills with, bro. Hey, do you remember the, uh, when the uh, them laws found that uh, they said they found all that fentanyl that can kill the whole world? Like, Hold on, like, when was this? When was this? It was like a couple months? I'm not like a couple weeks ago. Couple weeks ago, like, no, I didn't see that. They found the uh, they found the uh, well, they ain't so they say they did drug busts. Yeah, they, they found the, uh, a large amount of a large amount of fentanyl that can kill the whole world. <laughs> Some niggas go to jail. No, for no, life. no, no, no. I think I, let me tell you what I think. Yeah. I think they did that to say they got it for somebody, but they actually put it out in the world. Cause I ain't know where the hell you finna find that much. Like, it was like, bro, it was like acres of it. Yeah. Like, where you finna hide that at? Yeah. 
Ain't no one person finna hide that, bro. I think they saying that just because they, they finna put that out on the streets. I'm so nervous, people, bro. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. They, they did it with crack, right? <clears throat> when I say I'm nervous, they fuck around start putting that shit in the food. Like, no telling where yeah, this they, shit going to be. They gonna do it anywhere. You feel me? Yeah, bro. man. We just gotta stay prayed up, man. You know what I mean? I'm gonna tell you my motto. Hey, we gonna die anyway. Yeah, that's wow. it. Wow. So, how did you come up with the with the uh, way that you do your show? And and because it's a dope way that you do it, like when people stream yard and all these other things, they came up with these different ways yeah. of doing things. Like, how did you come up with with yours? Did you just get on it, or you seen? Yeah, something? but no, nah, I just I just jumped on there, bro. Uh, you know, I actually I had a partner. I used to do. I was doing a show with another blogger at the time, and I was trying to help get him monetized. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, I was trying to help get him monetized. So. You know, that's how, you know, we just started doing a live stream. First, I was doing just pre-recorded content. Then we started doing a live stream, bro. I just turned that thing up, man. You know what I mean? Then I started doing another show, and we, we was turning up on the Mo3 show. I came back to my show, kept turning up. Yeah, we did the live stream, just something I do. I could pre-record, but I'm one of them cats, fam. I really just sit there and chop it up with you. You know what I mean? I'd rather go. Let's, mm -hmm. let's do it now. Y'all pull up. Don't talk Don't talk to me in no comments, nigga. You feel me? Don't wait for my video to be over and go say something. That's real. Hit that link and pull up and chop it up with me right, right now. now. And that, yeah, that's how I am, bro. You know so, what I mean? Pull up, and, talk and to me, man. And you mastered it, too, though. Like, like when it comes on, it's real. It's laid out professionally. Yeah. I, I love the way your show is, man. Bro, I'm the best live streamer. When it comes to that live, hitting that button, going live, you know, oh, ain't nobody fucking with me, dog. You know what I mean? Nobody. Did I don't you, know. Yeah, ain't nobody messing with me on a live stream, bro. Can't you invite people in? That's a new function I've been seeing yep. they've been talking yep. about. What do you think about that one? Uh, for I was on YouTube inviting people. I think it's kind of like, I've never done it yet, but they sent me a notification that you can actually invite people on the live. I seen it. Like, you didn't see like, that? Like, you talking about Instagram? You talking about yeah. just, oh, on YouTube? Without using the YouTube. Without, without using the stream. Just, 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 you know what, what? Do you think that'll be something that can help your, your channel? It, How it, many people? Yeah, it, it just depends. How many? I don't know. Yeah, I've never, I don't, I've never I used it I got to check it out, but yeah. they sent me a notification. Oh, for real? I might use it tonight. They sent it on both of my channels. Yeah, I might use it. I was like, that's crazy. I think that would be dope. Cause we got so many but people. But see, the only thing about it is that you know, on YouTube you can't go live until you until you uh until you got a, a thousand, thousand subscribers. Correct. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. So, but with Streamyard, everybody found a way around it, nigga. With Streamyard, you still go live without you it. Live. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you nigga, live. Some nigga got five subscribers. Go live. Go live. So, we, so, so yeah, we figured that out. Kind of far as up and coming bloggers who was trying to ask me, "Scott, I'll get a thousand subscribers." Nigga, go like a Streamyard, fam. Go live, bro. You yeah. start starting now, bro. Get yeah. them cash shaft, them super stickers, them super. That's what I'm about to work on. You about to see me bro, doing that bro. in here, bro. We Eating, bro. I was we, trying to do, so I would do the same thing. We about yeah. to do the same thing yeah. in here, and yeah, you've yeah, already bro. trained them that way. Yeah, we, we so eating think, over there. Because even though they demonetize your channel, you still could eat because of the fact that you. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. They demonetize. That goes away. Oh, it does. Yeah, sure, because do, you don't have your badges. Yeah. You can't. You don't your have your badges gone. Now, they, oh, can't, gone. they can see super uh, cash app forever, but if they demonetize you, yeah, all and that goes away. Gone. Yeah, yeah. No, no colorful comments nowhere. You know what I mean? Really. So that's why I went start another channel. So remember that if you're doing any kind of channel on YouTube, you better have a backup. Yeah, I got. I got a. You better have a backup. They're gonna take it away bro something going yeah, happen at some point you got a lot of bloggers that be hating bro especially in my realm of bloggers bro it's some suckers they blog where I blog like like in the little the sector of people I blog you know, they, oh, they striking videos they telling they run the YouTube oh he got my picture up he did this niggas talking about you all day the minute I bite back you know when I, when I do something back to you you know hey I'm going in mm -hmm. I do niggas dirty I on YouTube it. I kill a nigga on YouTube I love it they be playing with me for so long so I find I be watching I be sitting back watching okay I, he, he keep playing with me okay any day now any day now but when I come out Boy, when I come out, niggas, boy, niggas don't want no smoke with it. Wow. Yeah. I, they I never want smoke yeah. in their face. I done set so many blogs, I done put so many bloggers in the cemetery, nigga. I mean, bro, I got a backyard full of bones, nigga. You hear me? <laughs> I, 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 got, music, I got a backyard man. full of bones, but I, I didn't kill so many bloggers. They, they they come back for more, but man, I can't give them all my me, time, bro. Let me ask you about the music, man. Yeah. How do you feel about the music in the Dallas, in the metro area, and and with Mo three passing away? Yeah. How do you feel like that that done? Whether positive or negative to the yeah. music scene in Dallas. Well, Mo Three was the only kid I was listening to at the time in Dallas. You know what I mean? Like, but now after yeah. this two year window has passed, I like Big X the plug. You feel me? It's a couple of cats out there that I be running across. They never like, okay. I like. I mean, when it comes to the DFW, I like Bugatti Casino. It's a, it's a couple of cats that I hear. You know, I be like, okay, yeah, I rock with them. But for the most part, now nah, Mo Three was the nigga who's gonna take us to that next. You know, over there to that next level. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you got yellow, niggas like Yellow Beezy and Trap Boy Freddie who's doing their thing as well. Uh, yellow had a big hit. You know what I mean? But Mo three was coming with something that was gonna stay. I feel like I felt like Yellow had that hit. That was you know that was that one hit mm -hmm. shit. But I felt like three was gonna come and put us in the game and keep us there for a while. So three could sing, could rap. Yeah, losing Mo three messed Dallas up, bro. But Dallas is a I'm gonna say this about Dallas, bro. Dallas is a greedy. Not I mean, Dallas is a selfish city, bro. 
You know, half these niggas out here be hating on each other. Dallas is most definitely a, 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 a what they call a crab in the bucket, bro. All that's true. Don't ever think that's not true when they say that about Dallas, bro. Dallas niggas hate to see other Dallas niggas win, bro. Yep, they don't sure like is. it, bro. You will lose your life uh, coming up in Dallas, bro. If you famous in Dallas, niggas, boy, niggas hate that. Boy, what? Nigga supposed to be me, nigga. Niggas hate that. Wow. And that's Dallas. So anybody ever say it's not true, I've been in this game in Dallas for 20 years, from the rapping to the blogging. Bro, niggas, yeah. Then I start blogging, some niggas, you know, they didn't rock with it. When they seen it blowing up, oh, they was down. But now, guess what? I don't need you no more, nigga. Right. I, I, wanted, I was trying to get some interviews from you when I first started. Mm -hmm. Now this shit done blew up. Nigga, hey, man, let me do my thing. Oh, oh they'll kill you, nigga. Oh, nigga, kill you now. You feel me? Wow. So that, yeah, now that you done blew up and turned yourself into something, oh, we done got rid of you. Now, niggas don't like you no more. Niggas throwing shots at you. Niggas talking bad about you behind the scene. Yeah, but I, but I love it, bro. I love it. You you definitely done embraced it, man. And did you ever see it like this whole side of the coin when you, I know you came for see certain things, yeah. but for you to to become successful in the blog world like you have done, mm -hmm. did you even see a smidgen of that happening? Uh, I mean. You see what not, I'm saying? Yeah, not really, bro. I mean, I, not I, really, I didn't either. Yeah, so. not really at all. Cause like for me, I never thought about this. Yeah, I thought that I was going to sit down and start talking. I know people going to show up. They're going to listen to it. But next thing I know, they, they put, like I said, salute the rainwater. Salute to everybody that was a part of, you know what I mean? Uh, pulling up when it came to Mo3. Then you know, Mo3's sister came on my show one time. You know, Mo3's uh, son that been on my show. Salute to little Trey. His brother, Cole Gotti, his, his uh, cousin, the dude. So I got to really thank Mo3 and his family, bro. You know what I mean? For my channel getting off the ground, bro. You know what I mean? We just did the Mo3 Foundation. Nigga, you should have seen how I pulled up, nigga. I pulled up like Santa Claus, nigga. Wow. I had so many goddamn toys. And salute to the whole Skull Gang, all my moderators the chat, because we also donated so much to the Mo3 wow. Foundation. You know what I mean? So wow. we giving back, bro. I'm, the, I'm one of the only live streamers who talk about things, but I also give back. And I go visit these places. You know, when Dolph died, we went to Makita's. We, we flew to Memphis. You know, take off down. We go right to Houston. You feel me? And and I and I fuck with the Prince family. You know what I mean? So we just go out there to see what's going on, what's popping. You know what I mean? I know everybody that's involved with a lot of these different stuff, bro. Let's so with talk me, about it for I'm just talking, like, we, we just covering it. I heard it was a DJ or something that they named. For yeah, that's DJ Pat. DJ Pat. Did yeah, you DJ know Pat. DJ Pat? I've been around. Actually, somebody told me, hey, nigga, you remember when DJ Pat uh, 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 hosted my, my birthday party in 2019? You know what I mean? I was like, it was a partner of mine. I was like, damn, I really don't remember. He was like, you've been around Pat before, but... I don't really know Pat like that, but I know of Pat. But when you think about Pat, like like and all that stuff, and trying, to, I seen academics. He really was breaking down everything piece by piece, but it didn't come back the way people really envisioned yeah. did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Think I'm about say it, because you seen you seen how he no. was. Cause he cold with it. I think yeah. he helped. Academics he cold helped with it, yeah. man. You cold with it. But academics, academics is in there trying to it. figure this yeah, out, and he piece by piece in it. He helping them. Why? I think he helping them. I'm talking about not not for his doing it on purpose, but the way he break it down, mm -hmm. it's like he helping them do it too. He helping them, he helping the uh, the FBI see everything. Oh, like, he's very like convincing dude. about no, how he's doing the, it. The dude in the yellow shirt and the yellow hoodie. He in jail now for that gun he had. Wow, that's so, gonna be that's gonna be a jo that's gonna be Cameron Joshua, aka Lil Cam. He, 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 he he's yeah. in jail. I know every yeah, 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 new shit behind that gun. The academic broke down. Yeah, and on top of that, the thing about it, what's so messed up about that situation is that young man sound like he might actually be the, uh, he might be the victim. Because at the end of the day, I think, bro, I think something happened between maybe him and Quavo. I think that, you know, maybe whatever happened, niggas got to pull, you know, pull that on him. I don't think nobody was shooting at um, at uh, Migo Band, which is going to be, uh, mm -hmm. you know, take off in, uh, in Quavo security. That's what I see. I don't think nobody's shooting at him. And I think, I think, I think DJ Pat just shot too early, bro, and didn't really know where he was shooting, bro. They say he had been drinking, but I do not think Pat is trying to hit nobody with Quavo or take off. Let me tell you something. That nigga would be dead. If he tried to kill, if he shot takeoff on purpose, bro, niggas would kill, bro, he'd be out of here already. You know P and them niggas and Coach K flew down here right when that happened. Man, they would have handed, Jay Princeton would have handed that nigga ass over on a silver platter if they thought he did that on purpose. What's going on with this situation is, bro, it was an accident. He shot takeoff on accident. That's why you don't see nobody from Atlanta bucking on no Houston niggas. You don't see no war going on right now. Let me tell you why, because everybody knows it was an accident. Listen, Pat is on his own hey, now, Let me bro. stop it there. Ain't no gunshots of accident if you pull that trigger. Well, I'm gonna say maybe no gunshots. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, wow. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this, but did he mean to shoot takeoff? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. But who he meant to shoot though? Somebody. Yeah, he meant to hit exactly. somebody. Exactly. You know what I mean? But he so didn't mean to shoot takeoff. Everybody know Buzz ain't got no name. But you get what I'm saying? They don't want to. But that's the reason why. But nigga, what I, I get what you're saying. Dude, though, you you didn't think it was self defense though. That's what he claimed. What he said he gonna claim. I mean, I don't know how it's self defense, but nobody ain't pointing no gun at him. Exactly. And the police report they said when his gun and when his remember we can't see this. This is the video the police got. We don't got it. But they say when he when he when he was shooting, they say nobody else is in a shooting position. Nobody else. I, I'm nobody's got nothing now. 
when you went down there, did they have cameras on the, on the building? I didn't see no cameras on the building. I that's didn't. That's what I thought. You did. you I didn't see it. the camera. Yeah, you know what I mean? But, but the police, as far as the cameras go, I'm sure it got to be a camera out there that we can't pick up on. It's a camera. You know how them cameras is. You be the, it'd be the, be the camera in one of these motherfuckers. You it's just don't camera, see it. Yeah. So, yeah, because they, they got the footage. The police got shit we didn't see. Yeah. We had the cell phone footage, but they, can, they arrested Pat on the footage that they have that we don't. You know what I mean? How much... What does that do to the hip-hop culture or to the culture, just the Houston the culture of the way people, because I seen Jay Prince uh, speak yeah. out on the fact of people saying that uh, uh, Junior stepped over some. Yeah, uh, yeah. take off. But you seen that, right? I seen that. Yeah. Like, 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 what does that do? Like, he explained it in a way to where that was something that wasn't, where it that, wasn't even the way that it they wasn't said. True. I knew that wasn't true from the start because you it, did. That wasn't. That was never true because in the, the day when you go back and watch the video of Pat, of uh, Takeoff actually dead. Remember the video of him actually the blood mm-hmm. back in his head. You could see Mike Prince was his Jay Prince uh, senior cousin. He did. Mike Prince was a dude who's standing there who quaving him talking to. He trying to calm the whole thing down, bro. He had to go wash the blood off his hand, like 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 Jay Prince Senior said, because I see a video of him trying to hold take off head up. Yeah. Wow. So rap a lot is de- is there when he did, but rap a lot is standing around, bro. But the video shows Prince walking off, like after the, they've been standing there talking, he turns around and walk back into the bowling. Alley. That's where the video pick up at. So they say oh, he just walked right past the nigga. Nah, bro, they was all standing around, Quavo and Takeoff. They were trying to help get the nigga up. Somebody was holding his legs. My Prince hold Takeoff head. Everything people saying is a lie, bro. The Prince family has nothing to do with the murder of Takeoff. You think, why, would they, why would they tell somebody to shoot that boy in front of all them niggas, all these girls That's they what don't I was know? Saying, bro. Niggas, cell phones out everywhere. But yeah, this just killed him. That don't even make sense, bro. bro. You them niggas, the are, thing them said, niggas bro. are mob ties. Quavo is mob. I said nigga twist his fingers up so many goddamn times. It's sad. These boys are mob ties. They damn with Prince, then with Junior, and that was just a um inc- you know, inconvenient situation that happened, an accident. Wow. Yeah, that's it, bro. Wow. Pat, is that on bun right now? Um, you keep saying accident, but I can't just live with that word. I have to, bro. <laughs> I understand what you're saying, yeah, but yeah. I, I can't live with that yeah. word because he pulled that trigger, bro. You pull that trigger, you mean to hit somebody? Yeah. Even if it one take off, somebody's gonna die. You pull but, that trigger. But, but we got the reason I say accident because you hit the wrong nigga. Like you feel like you keep you hit the wrong nigga. Who was the right nigga? The wrong nigga. Thank you. saying, but it don't. He pulled that trigger. I don't, I'm gonna say this. I don't know who the right nigga was, but Takeoff was the wrong nigga. You hear what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying? You shot the most. Fa- you shot, it's two famous niggas in here. It's right. It's niggas from out of town that came in to rock and do business with us. You actually shot one of them niggas, fam. Like if he would have shot just a you know just somebody else or hit a pedestrian ass nigga, this wouldn't be a big deal at all. But nigga, you kill. And that's the problem. You kill a yeah, that is the problem. That's the problem. But that, that's only for the media though. You feel me? Now that person's family would have wanted justice and been upset. Just like think about it, picture this. They shot two other people, and nobody ain't saying nobody shit about nothing. it. Nobody said nothing. They a shot girl a girl in the head. head. Exactly. And and Joshua Washington, Quavo's that's, assistant that's was crazy, shot. That's crazy, bro. They ain't been nobody been nobody charged with that. Them. But take off, you know, like I said, you hit the wrong nigga. You feel me? Like, you know what I mean? He's here with us. He, he's he's you know I mean he's he's famous, bro. The world is gonna be shocked when this like and Quavo would have died. The world would have you know, everybody shocked. So I feel like Pat most definitely, bro. I, I mean, I don't know who he was. Pat is the worst fucking shot ever, bro. That's like I say, whoever you was, can sh- you hit the boy right in the back of the head? So that's what I'm saying. Like Pat is, I don't know who Pat was shooting at. I don't know why Pat was shooting, but DJ Pat is the world's worst goon, the world's worst security, bro. Wow. You feel me? Yeah. So wow. So. Man, that's a heavy subject yeah, to roll I, off of, but I'm just gonna be real. The worst gone. The reason why, I say, uh, no, the reason why I say, like I say, when you, when you saw when you saw the video when Academy broke it down, you seen you seen you seen so many people like have guns out. Like why these guns out? They didn't know what was going on. I'm like, be honest, they knew something was going on before it happened. I'm gonna say this: the only people I seen with a gun now, and I've watched this video a hundred times, bro. And you've watched it on my channel with me. The only person I see with a gun now, bro, I don't see nobody in the whole video with a weapon except Amigo Band. I don't even when Josh when, when they say look, can pull his out. I barely see it. Like the, the nigga, he get out of, he get right to the bowling alley. I see Amigo Band gripping. We can't see Pat no way at all. So I see one gun in the whole video, Scope. bro. But you was a, like I said, you was a street person. When the, when a gun get pulled out, something going on, right? Yeah, most exactly. Definitely. Thank yeah. you. Something's no, going on. Definitely. They know what's going on. We, can, we just can't. Everybody see knows what's going on. Yeah, we can't exactly. see what's going on. But was Quavo like, into it? Was Quavo into it with somebody on the other side of this camera? Is more going on? I believe so. I believe we, can, we can't see it. But Quavo told them niggas, "Hey, fam, let me get it back here. I've been hurt one of you niggas." <laughs> Yeah, I heard that. The part. last thing he said, bro, next they, they shit. You know what I mean? You can't say that kind of shit sometimes, bro. You know what I mean? So, no, not definitely right, been listen, drinking it out all night. The, the way man, you explained it, the way you explained it, that means he wasn't talking to whoever. He wasn't talking to uh, Pat, though. 
No, so exactly. whatever you saying, so it's exactly. like That's he wasn't talking to Pat. He wasn't talking to Pat. So like whatever he said, they didn't make him shoot them. Didn't make it that happen. Mm. It was something else going on, like you said, like, at the time. I think it's. I think. I think somebody bucked, and I think Pat was trying to get some stripes. You know what I mean? He hit the yeah, he, and 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 he, he got the shooting, bro. But what's the what what's the big? So that's the biggest thing that happened this year. Uh, yeah, yeah, and that, that's how the year ended. The year ended like that. You know, I mean, November first, Dolphs. Dolph was 2021. Year? Dolph, okay, Dolph 21. Yeah, Dolph was a year 22 now. was, uh, man, it's, it's so many. It's yeah. just a, you had them boys. A lot of them was in November. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. A lot of them was in November. You got Gucci Man. You look at all Gucci Man artists. They all. Big Scar. Big Scar died. You got uh, Did Matt, you even Matt look Trill. into that? That's um, that, was, yeah, that was a. That was another a, that Memphis was, guy, right? That was, a Memphis, that was another overdose. Wow. Yeah, another overdose situation. And that man. just happened like three weeks within yeah. uh-huh, uh, Gangsta yeah. Boots, yep, right? Like, yeah, two or three weeks before Gangsta Boots. Maybe like two weeks before Gangsta Boots, bro. Wow. You know what I mean? So, man, for me, it's so. When I got into this, man, I thought I was just sitting here, talk to people, and have a good time. But this didn't turn into something where. It's a draining thing to where you see people in this journalist lifestyle. Yeah. You see so many, you focus on everything that's happening, mm-hmm. but for some reason, the beaming thing that pops out is the deaths and the people that's passing away. Yeah. How hard is it to stay focused on what you're doing in the midst of all that? I'm gonna say this people look for me now, bro. You know what I mean? Like, if somebody, if a rapper die, bro, oh man, nigga, they blowing my inbox up. Go, you see this? Go, anything happening in hip hop now, like, you know, some shit that people wanna talk about and break down, they blowing me up, bro. The minute. Take off die, bro. I went live at eight o'clock in the morning. We had like four, five thousand people in there. So wow. I was just ready to talk. How do you ready. What you gonna uh, uh, talk about? Um, I always, you know what? I want to talk about the biggest stories in hip hop. That's what I want. That's what I, I feel. I, I want the big whatever's going on that everybody talking about. I feel okay, you know. It's just like going to the barbershop. You go in there, chill. We all talking about what's going. Hey, nigga, you heard? Blah, blah, blah. That's what we do on my show. I'm gonna pull up. But, hey, man, I know what y'all want to talk about. It's the biggest shit that's mm-hmm. taking over the headlines today. You know, Dolph dead or you know, Takeoff got shot. That's what everybody want to talk about, bro. So I most definitely want to be that channel. Where niggas can roll that good gas up late night, your girl go to sleep, you know what I mean? You just up chilling, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, just you jump they, on that yeah, old they, too. Turn it on, man. You put your headphones in and just just talk that shit with me, bro. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people that don't leave the house no more either. Yep. It's a lot of people, it's a whole new culture, and you know it because they walk they watching boss talk. They watching us. We the new TV, nigga. Mm-hmm. People ain't really going out like that no more. So mm-hmm. Nigga, we gotta provide that service, bro. We gotta do what we doing. You gotta keep doing what you doing, bringing all the interviews here. Cause niggas, I'm watching your shit at night. I'm at the crib watching Boss Talk late wow. night, nigga. Wow. So yeah, bro, we, this is our duty, bro. We are TV. Niggas ain't watch. Only thing we watch TV for is the, is the goddamn Cowboys game, the, the, the sports. No, that's it. No, 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 no. Do with the kids stuff. No, I'm with the kids. I ain't with the Cowboys. So you be watching the baby stuff. Was that a yeah. slug? Was that a slug in my Cowboys, nigga? No, nah, it wasn't no slug. Oh, okay, listen. Oh, okay, listen, I, I, y'all don't <laughs> like the Cowboys. I, I don't, bro. He shit. from Louisiana. Oh, okay. Keep yeah. Monroe. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Let, let me stop you there. I mean, he's from Monroe. I don't, from Monroe. I don't like no he sports. Don't, but he plays oh, okay, sports. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, he he but, plays but, but, sports. <laughs> It's, it's because that they, they that's making what it. I'm they about. making this, this shit. Nigga here that's how they do it, bro. That's why they making it water down. They making it water down, bro. You can't do nothing. You can't do nothing no more. Like water down. Everything's watered down. You can't go out there and hit nobody else no more like you want to. Man. It ain't fun no more. Hey, be careful. Niggas die on the field. Yeah, it don't matter. They're going to die in life uh, anyway. Yeah, nigga. They're going to die in they life should anyway. They're the game because that yeah. dude like to die. Yeah, hey, nigga almost died, man. That didn't like he did down was the field. it the hit that done it, or was it basically just he had something to happen? I mean, they said it was like from the impact or something. They felt like, you know what I mean? Wasn't so a hard like, hit, didn't no, look no, like. Can I explain to y'all? Because it happened to me one time. I just I ain't passed passed though. Nigga put the pads in you? No, I'm going to tell you what happened. No, I hit a dude, and he didn't move. Like, I hit him hard. He didn't move. And what happened to you, nigga? Nigga, my back was hurt for weeks. <laughs> like, I hit the nigga hard. Nigga, bro. hard. <laughs> he didn't move. He did not move. So, I, I understand that how, I understand that pressure can do something to you. Mm, they yeah. can do something to you. Especially hit him right there. Right here. Mm-hmm. Like, of course, that's right. That's straight impact. Like, I hit him for, I hit him with my shoulder pad. Yeah. It went to my back. But he hit him right here in the helmet. Yeah. Right here. Nah. So, of course, that's going to do something to you, bro. Yeah. Your head probably the strongest thing in your body, too. Yeah, especially when you dropping it. I was never a football nigga, bro. You know, my, yeah, my well, son, yeah, my son is in here now. My son played football. And I remember having to go get that nigga up off the field a couple of times. You know what I mean? Like, and she ain't no joke, bro. You feel like niggas on top of you, 10, 15 niggas in one pile, bro. Yeah, I had to scoop that nigga up out a couple of pounds, bro. So do you? <laughs> 
<laughs> she got will real, you, bro. Will you be uh, like like moving, like going and doing shows in different cities? Yeah, most, I know. Mean, I want to go to Atlanta soon. My daughter is here. My daughter go to Clark University. Okay, and a shout big out. Shit. Yeah, shout yeah. Out. My daughter made us a part of Clark University. Hey. Now. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just thankful, bro. You know what I mean? That she doing her thing like that. So I'm most definitely going to go to Atlanta and hang out with her. You know, move around Atlanta and do some interviews and do some stuff like that. Help her out with the things she want to do. But yeah, my daughter. Like, Let my, me know my, if it's anybody. My kids lit, bro. You know, I've been in Atlanta. I did like four shows down there. Yeah, I, I want to go down there and turn you up in Atlanta, how you like, What do you think when Bob was talking going on the road? Like, oh, I, would, I know you. Come on, fam. <laughs> I might look up your ass. I might be in Vegas, nigga. What you do you think be, about that? That shit was fun. That shit was fun. Nah, be me tell you something. That's what you do, bro. Hey, I'm going to tell you. I admire that too, bro. I think that's what made me different. People don't want to admit it. Bro, you got you to got, no, I do this team. everywhere. You got a real team, nigga. You got you move with a real team. Hey, you want me to tell you what be shocking me? It's like, but we went to Longview last weekend. Yeah, we did. But we got the car. Why? Everybody stopped. Like, literally, everybody stopped and just looked at us like, I'm like, bro, what the hell going on? Like yeah. me, I'm not they saying I'm not love. looking at like, like that. Love, man. Talk. They, they show, show love, love. Yeah. yeah. Hey man, I like it. Hey, I'm gonna say this, man. I like going places, you know what I mean? And well, not all the time. Me and my son, we was at we was at Golden Chicken one day trying to get something to eat. Nigga bust out the back, say, Sco, I fuck with you, nigga. Yeah, say, I didn't have that say, happen. <laughs> I had a nigga to stop me at the long I was renting uh, uh yeah. you know them them big uh 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 Bob catch them them back holes. Uh, yeah, I was yeah. written one to do some construction work yeah. with one of the guys who was gonna do it for me. The dude who worked there come out the back and asked me, "What are you doing here, man? Yeah, man, you boss talk like I didn't even know it. I'm like, really? Like yeah. he he showed mad love yeah, to man. the fact of who I was and asked me to stop and take a picture with him right there at his job. That should be getting me in trouble. That should literally be getting me in trouble. And I think it, it, ain't, it ain't because of me. I think it's 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 jealousy. But like every time somebody come and tell me like, "Hey, you from Boss Talk? You usually that?" Yeah, I know who get mad. Like they literally get mad because they yeah, don't. Yeah, your old lady, his old yeah. lady. Oh, for real? Okay, yeah. 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 I mean, hey, they come to the territory sometimes. You know what I mean? You no, know don't. I mean? They both know that already. Well, you know what I mean. Sometimes some females ain't gonna like that for you. Yeah, somebody they, they, they want your ass to be normal, nigga. They, don't, <laughs> they want your ass being famous. They want you be nice and normal, nigga. Out here, yeah, man. They want right. you being famous, so, nigga. Nah, so they don't. They what, want your ass be normal? When you think about like, who would you like to interview next on, on, on mm. your channel? Michael Blackston, bro. I need Michael really? Blackston. I want to bring everybody from the chat. Money Moses. I'm gonna bring everybody up. Cut your cameras on. We finna let roast session. Everybody just go in. I mean, Michael Michael Black. Black. Hey, all all night. Night. Get on. We all get on. night I want Michael Black to pull up. I, I met that nigga, him. man. And I, yeah. I, I definitely would like to have him on Boss Talk. That's something yeah. like, Miss Jamaica been working on that yeah. too. Yeah. And uh shout out to my son Trey. He's been working on that. So man, like like um what can people what 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 can people expect, man? A lot more uh, a lot more energy, yeah, a lot more bro. push, a lot bro, more A lot more drama, man. bro. Drama. Skull game. Skull game by the go game, in. Bro. We finna go in, bro. We cutting throats, man. We don't mess with us. Salute to the whole Skull game, bro. We, we be, man, we run them YouTube streets, bro. I was talking about that live. You know what I mean? It's, it's a whole world of live streamers out there. And I created just about all of them. You know, I really yeah. get a piece of all they checks when it comes to every live streamer, you know, around <laughs> in my sectors. Everybody owe me a check because I create a whole world for everybody to blog in, bro. You feel me? So, yeah, I'm just the king of it, bro. You know what I mean? I put a lot of people on in the live stream world. We got a lot of female channels. Uh, like I said, man, um, we just we yeah, we just going through there, bro. But I create a whole world of live streamers, bro. And they all around the world. Milwaukee, Dallas, California, Vegas, Pittsburgh. They everywhere, bro. But I love it because they give these people something to do, bro. You know what I mean? Some of these people don't got nobody. Some of these people don't got family. Some of these people in the house with their kids all day. So we give them an outlet, bro, to get online and turn up and be somebody and talk and have a voice. So I love it, bro. I feel like I'm doing a service for the whole goddamn internet, bro. I know. You, you I know you you see a lot of things you come from a different lifestyle yeah. when it come down to artistry. When you seen Trey, because Trey just came back and said he had to turn himself in because of, of what had happened between him and Zero. Like mm -hmm. when you see that, like to see that happen, um, I heard a lot of different opinions on it. W did you cover that any? Um I did cover that. I think I think uh I think that I think Zero was uh I think Zero jumped the gun, my nigga. Let me say this. And uh, and Lil Flip Rock with Zero. That's his dog. Self, you know? That's his boy. But uh, I'm going to say this. I don't like the fact that you and a nigga you've been knowing for 30, 25 plus years get into a fight. I don't give a damn look. Even if they jump, you've been knowing, he's been knowing, Zero been knowing Trey and his brother for forever. So I don't, I think if two niggas that I know beat me up, oh, we got to handle that shit. I, don't, I ain't talking no laws about that shit, nigga. I'm finna get one of you niggas. I'm finna, I'm finna catch one of you bitch ass niggas later. I don't trust me. I've been knowing you niggas for 25 years. I'm not going no law. I'm not writing no statement. I'm not doing an interview on the news. So Zero did an interview on the news. 
He wrote a statement. I just feel like, bro, you know them niggas. DJ Screw got to be rolling in his motherfucking grave right now. You know them niggas, dog. Like, you could, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could have called that nigga out one on one, say, fam, nah, I need my one. I need my one, uh, Trey. I need y'all jump me, kick me out my goddamn back. I'm going to need that one, though. I'm not running to the laws, but no shit like that. I'm, I'm with you on that. On top of that, I done seen zero. I done seen zero act hard plenty of times. I was on tour with zero. I just see zero, you know what I mean, nigga. Uh, he, a, uh, he, a, he, a, he, a, uh, we call it bipolar, nigga. He stay, he stay off to himself. He wouldn't get on the tour bus. He only, he only uh, rode his Chrysler behind the bus the whole time. Yeah, that type of nigga. I see him charge up his own fans. Some young people, hey, bro, they, they rapping his music. Get the fuck out of my head going off on everybody and shit. So when you see a nigga like that getting beat up, you like, nigga, you were just hard, nigga. Shit was just hard not too long ago. You feel me? Yeah, nigga, you nigga. Bro, let me say something. All these niggas be out here playing tough, bro. You hear me? All these niggas. I can't stand none of these niggas, dog. And I'm, I'm not really just pointing out zero. I'm saying a lot of these niggas play tough, bro. For nothing. And yeah, for nothing. A lot of these niggas, bro, zero. I don't like what he I don't think that was right to go by the statement and to do the news interview, bro. Because what you always told us, you would handle shit differently. Mm -hmm. Right. Zero, you mm -hmm. grew up telling us you would handle right? shit deep. Yeah, nigga, you always made it seem like, nigga, fuck with you, it's up. Yep, we sure but, did. You know what I mean? I understand we getting older, niggas getting mature. But for you to know some niggas that long, bro. They don't write no statement. Don't go to the law. You could have caught J Ton or Trey. You could have ran up on one of them niggas that one by yourself. Whatever hey, you was gonna especially do. Especially for a misdemeanor. Yeah, it's a misdemeanor, bro. It's not. It's a really? misdemeanor. Yeah, yeah, it's a misdemeanor. Yeah, bro. Ain't like, no felony. That's a fight. So I feel like Zero kind of messed his reputation up with. And when I say reputation, I'm not saying niggas gotta play hard because, like I say, niggas grow up, bro. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying far as all that shit you be talking and shit, bro. Yeah. And he's still, he's still. Uh, don't get it wrong. Zero is still a better artist than Trey to me. You hear me? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm still G uh, Zero is, uh, you know, a legend in Houston. Don't get it twisted, bro. Zero is a legend. Screwed up click legend, but I don't like that last move, bro. You feel me? Shout out to my nigga Lil Flip. That's his dog. You know I don't mean? like I know. it either. They got, they got, they got, they promo them niggas' album. They, <laughs> you know, I think they got, uh, they got the album, uh, uh, from, uh, uh, from the, I think it's called Deep in the South or, uh, From the South, some shit, part two coming out. You know what I mean? So, yeah, roll, roll a cool nigga, bro, but for the most part, I, I don't like that last shit, bro. You know what I mean? What do Skull want, man, from the game? Like, it, it, at the end of the day, what do Skull want, man? Man, I want, I want, I want money and, and, and respect, and I want to get the fuck out the way after a while. I'm not going to do it too long. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I want to get out the way. I want to give me about like six, seven years in this shit. And I'm gone, bro. You know what I mean? Because like I said, my kids are lit. My kids are going to take care of me. I ain't got to do shit when I get older. They're going to take care of me. By the time I'm 50, I'm going to be able to not do nothing. They, you know what I mean? Yeah. I ought to put the work in. You know, I'm, I, I'm a dad. Don't miss nothing. You feel me? Uh, uh, never miss no basketball games, football games, no senior recitals, nothing. You feel me? So at the end of the day, yeah, my kids going to take care of me. Bro. That's my goal. Take care of them. Get them where they going. And then they going to take care of my black ass, bro. Now, I have no... No 401k, nothing, nigga. This is it. That's it. This, this is, is it. I'm giving yeah. you the best that take I got. Take care of your kids. This way, I want to say to everybody out there, if you got kids, take care of your children. Love them. Spend time with them. And they will do the same for you when your ass get old. Because when you hit 60, 70 years old, you need help. Life Definitely. start going backwards. That's right. You come in this world with a diaper on, you go out the same goddamn way I'm here. That's real. You feel me? That's real. I've seen it. Yeah. So I've seen you feel it a few me? times. Yeah, so I, that's my been my goal, just to be a great father, to be the best father I can. Of course, I grew up making mistakes, too. My kids tell you, this nigga is not perfect by far. Yeah. You know, my mm -hmm. kids say, that nigga, yeah, that nigga a wild-ass nigga coming up. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, my kids know that nigga love us to death. You feel me? Mm -hmm. he, got, he got his issue, but man, that nigga ain't never... That shit ain't never had nothing to do with him. He never had an excuse not to love us and take care of us. And that's what a real nigga is, bro. I don't give a fuck how many niggas you hang out with. I don't give a fuck how many albums you done sold. None of that shit. If you don't take care of your kids or spend time with your kids or try to you know do right by your children, nigga, you ain't shit. Ain't that's shit. Yeah, I, so I don't want to hear you nothing from no shit. niggas out here, bro. Everybody be playing tough, nigga. I don't, bro. Being tough, first of all, you can't be tough and broke. That's real, right? Cause you so tough, we get some motherfucking money. You feel me? And you can't be tough and not take care of your family. Your kids. So, yeah, I don't want to hear from no. If you ain't taking care of your kids and spending time with them and getting money, yeah, I don't give a fuck what you talking about, fam. You just another nigga standing around looking, bro. No, nigga, I, I, I agree with that. I'm, I'm a tough that. nigga, then. 100%. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Take care of your kids, bro. Get paper, man. That's all we can do, bro. Mm -hmm. I seen uh, Boosie say, and I spoke on this the other day, he was like... Uh, his uncle sold his Super Bowl ring. Yeah, Super Bowl ring. And I spoke on that. Like, mm -hmm. his uncle was on uh, drugs. Drugs, mm -hmm. and, he, and, he, and his cocaine. And I spoke. I said, nigga, yeah. Because I was on the other side where, you know, we was basically getting the niggas Super Bowl rings. And right. We was, oh, yeah, we park a whole 18-wheeler. to you. Got, we get the truck. We get everything. Sell it in the hood. That's yeah. what we done. And the women. All that. Uh, so I understood and related to that, man. As far as the era back then, you know, the crack era is different than the, uh, this era we in now. Niggas sell drugs now. He got to have about 10, 15, 12 drugs. Different kind. Yeah. 
Damn, you know bro. what I'm saying? This is a different world, man. I'm sure glad. Drink. I'm Niggas glad still. I didn't come up in this era. Really? I'm glad I didn't come up in this hip hop era. Everything I would never want to be a rapper today or none of shit these men, bro. I want nothing to do with that, Everything is fake. They selling, bro. Oh yeah, like, every, hell yeah. Everything is fake, including clothes, and shoes too. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah. everything is wow. fake. Peels, clothes. But you know, you know I'm, gonna say, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this, and I, I don't wear no fake Louis or Gucci nothing like that. I, you know, I don't really wear too much of it at all. But for the people who want to, man, do that shit, bro. Yeah. Guess what? And wrong with it. Guess what? These people out here so fucked. They buy anybody that want to fuck with you because of a fucking design you got on. Or, or, or because you know, I mean, think about how dumb that is. So I say go get all the Salute, fake Gucci, right? all the fake Louis, and fool all the people who care about that shit so much. Yeah, go fool them. Just man, go go to Canal Street, wherever you go on uh, Harry Hines. Yeah. Go to Harry Hines, man, stack up on it, bro. Fake belts, fake everything. Because, bro, anybody that will mess with you because of that, any female, all my brothers out there, you got to have a certain kind of design, an outfit on, a certain kind of car outside, a certain amount of jewelry on for a woman to mess with you. Nigga, like my nigga Mo3 said, that's a money Maya, nigga. Yep. That's wow. a money Maya. Wow. You feel me? So yeah, That's bro. Real. Yeah, don't yeah, don't 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 get caught up in that, bro. I'd rather choose I mean, I'd rather have a female that want my ad just for who I am, my personality, how hard I work, how I take care of my kids. That's what you want. Not a bitch you want you because of what you got on, fam, what you got, how much money in your yep. account. That's a L, fam. Yep. There's a lot of dudes that they're doing that. Rocking with female nigga, girl wouldn't say nothing to you last year, but this year you came up. You know what I mean? You own now, here she comes. Nigga, you crazy. Man, you know crazy. Know what I do to her? I get her anyway. Take her all the way up there, let her fall. Just drop her. Drop her. Wow. <laughs> I swear. The blog, the the blog world is is, is something else, man. Oh, we, are we better than the rappers? The bloggers are making more money than the rappers and, and they get killed too. And we better than the rappers. A lot, of, too. A lot <laughs> of them is in in the Dallas area. A yeah. lot of them is oh, in yeah. the metro area. Yeah, Dallas turned up. Um, you, do, and it came within the last three years, two years. Yeah. Oh yeah. How do you feel about the the different uh, and, and the different ones and how they're doing? I know you say you hate a lot of them. Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, a lot of them some sucker. But the ones that matter matter. Boss Talk One on One, Mogul Media, Real yeah, Life boy, Street man. Stars. Yeah, shout yeah. out, man. Them cats there. You know, what I mean, those are the people you know who who, who matter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Them the cats who really holding it down for the city. You know, what I mean, yeah. when y'all doing real interviews, y'all got a real platform. People take y'all seriously. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's what, bro. Outside of people I just named, let me see. Uh, Shit, that's about it. That's it. That's about it, nigga. Ball the top, real, is Big it? D the mogul, real you life know how long, stars, but just ain't on the scope, I'm man. Finna, I'm finna I don't bring, watch nobody. I'm bringing that plaque out here in a minute. You know, you know, I hit that hundred k. Oh, it's time to put it up right, right. behind your goddamn head. Right, right. There. Look, there, look, that's the space right there. <laughs> That's the space right there, nigga. I'm bringing it out, <laughs> and, and you know, uh, yeah, got to show it because that's uh, it, for, for us to do it within a year and a half. Ah, man, that's, that's dope, unheard bro. of. Bro. But look at you, look at you. Come on, man, look how you working, bro. Come on, stop and, it, bro. You know, we you have some celebrities in these. How seats, many man. man? Them video be dropping, nigga. Yeah, no, nah, y'all be going in, it, bro. And then you, <laughs> break, you break them down like you you do one interview and then you gonna chop it up, man. Some why, of them I don't. Some of them but, I do. But this crazy part, baby, you why you done chop one up and while you still feeding us some of this one, you might just hit a nigga with a whole Boom. other one. I do that in a heartbeat. Yeah, I, mean, I do that. Oh, I'll be like, beat. damn, nigga, we, I'm watching this one. He done dropped it. I gotta leave this one alone. I gotta come back to this one. They done dropped this mother. <laughs> I damn right. sure did that way, boy. You ended on the uh, nail. <laughs> hey, I looked over. I'm gonna say, um, and I watched. Like I said, I watched. I, I looked over here one night. And I seen some niggas saying, you know, BFG strap passing away. Remember? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's whole fat. They were all on here. It was here, and I feel like them niggas was getting at me. I what? Like, yeah, I felt like the nigga was saying they said BFG strap was killed, and they say that they watched a blogger play with him for two hours. I see. I'm the only I nigga who go live for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Was you? You wasn't here that night. No, I wasn't here when they yeah, came. Yeah, bro. Wow, bro. I remember That's that crazy, too, bro. Yeah, but but did you go? Was it something that you covered? Yeah, uh, I did. I covered him the minute he passed away. I covered him, and it's crazy because that night when I covered him, remember they was showing number seven was online popping bottles. Yeah, and was here, so yeah. Like, a lot of that was was uh, a lot of that. Could have been done on my show, but I said, nah, we're not doing no shit like yeah, that, bro. Yeah. Rest in peace to BFG Strap. That young man didn't deserve to lose his life yeah. like that. So if his kin folks, his family, whoever them niggas was, his cousin, nigga, I ain't got no problem with that young man. That's a messed up situation that man, young man lost his life. And I yeah. went out my way on my show to show that, that man, this is, you know, this violence. So you stop. didn't mean no. You, bro, when you do, when you, when you do guy, your bro. mindset is not yeah. even, you trying to make sure to bring Awareness to it, yeah, exactly. And at the bro. end of the day, show faith. Hey, man, and maybe you weren't talking about. No, I, I you gotta totally realize wrong. it's not your mindset; it's their mindset. How they thinking? Yeah, yeah but, but then, what you do? But yeah, but then you got to realize people at that moment are, are, are hurt, mm -hmm. and they might do anything. And when it come down to like, like think about uh, the scar, the big scar thing mm -hmm. that just happened with Gucci, like, like. These people are hurting. That's why I they, say it's the how mom, uh, the, the the sister, the brother, the dad. These people are going through somebody that they love just passed away. So yeah. a lot of times in the midst of that, they may say anything because a depressed place to You're speak right. from. Yeah. It could go crazy and at I, that I point. I think they all wrong. 
everybody that spoke on what Gucci did was wrong. I don't care what y'all say, because that if that man know he had that much money, put life insurance on himself. Like we all know this, and some people that come and oh, say, yeah, they was wrong oh, for oh, that, bro. Some people, that, wrong. some people that come and say, oh, he twenty two, he that young, he ain't think my life insurance. Well, who fault is that? Mm -hmm. He got parents, don't he? Yep, and he got, and he he got, got people around, don't he? He got a lawyer, don't he? Thank you. Yeah. Wow. So that's not Gucci man's problem. Take, pay that man, th pay that man, uh, lawyer. I mean, pay that man, bunk, I mean, uh, funeral. Yeah. And it turns yeah. out he did get some money to the funeral. They, they lied. Said he said he still did it. They said he gave, they gave twenty thousand. Atlantic, look, remember they signed him to uh to ten seventeen Atlantic. So if Atlantic gave ten thousand and Gucci gave ten thousand, that's really twenty thousand coming from exactly. Gucci. Exactly. And a funeral don't cost that much. Yeah. I think they said that little old. Uh, we got the little bit. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, but them, them them some ungrateful. Uh, rest in peace, uh, Big, Big Scar. Scar. Rest yeah, in another, peace, to Big Scar. Another thing that pissed me out too. His little brother that post all that money. Yeah. Like why? You sitting there getting mad with Gucci, Gucci with chains Gucci. on. Won't get a nigga's chains back here. Thank you, bro. Like you sitting here getting mad at this man just because he he not uh doing what he doing. And when you ain't doing what you're doing, you got money? Yeah, you put man. it up. I didn't like that situation, bro. Like, that, 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 that was, was all wrong. I, I don't care I what that's like. I think a lot of times, man, like I say again, and I'm gonna reiterate this to y'all. Yeah. People are speaking from a hurt place. I bro. understand it. But when so but at the end of the day, when somebody passes away that you love, but that's wrong to say. You know, it's that's, wrong, bro. It's wrong that's for, wrong in all categories. Yeah, it's wrong for Gucci. That's wrong in all categories. Let's I don't care what nobody says. I'm gonna say it's wrong to say the man. And you know what? This is what I think too, bro. I think that uh, I think that maybe Gucci told them to bury that nigga in them chains, and they didn't bury him in the chains. I think that, that he probably told them, you know, you, you know, think about it. That he, I gave him these chains. He probably thought when they all when y'all bury him. No, put his, leave his chains on them, nigga. Like they probably, they probably looked at the funeral and seen that nigga, that nigga in the ground over them niggas with the goddamn yeah, the chains chain on. on. And that's what I think he called and said, "Well, if y'all got them chains still, return the chains." I think that's what happened. I wow. think I think that they would have buried that nigga in them chains. They gone. They gone. But I think the little brother, he feel like, nigga, I don't even know you like that. Nigga, you can't be already getting the shit claiming 1017. Who want to wear a logo around your neck and them niggas don't fuck with you? That's the exactly. dumbest shit. Yeah. Yeah. Gucci don't fuck with you niggas now because of this shit. But y'all want to still represent his label around y'all neck. That's the goofiest shit I ever heard, bro. Yeah, somebody, yeah, yeah, somebody yeah. talked to that young that nigga, was, that was That was that was a different. Yeah, somebody talked different. to that young man, bro. We just saying, uh, we, I Not mean. Not him. The sister, the sister was, the the sister was tripping, she, too. She was wrong because even she, saw my, even she said, uh, that, that little man do nothing for the flowers. Bro, yeah. it helped. Yeah, it helped most definitely. It helped, bro. And she at UPS. She was working there. She talking shit from her <laughs> live. She boxing up. She at UPS. I'm like, man, sister, yeah, y'all needed that dub. Exactly. Y'all needed that dub. And the friend don't cost that much. Yeah, the friend don't cost more than $20,000. Y'all adding other stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, so stop it. A, a friend is, is like fifteen. I mean, ten or 15000 at the most. Yeah. So yeah. if it's over twenty, you all y'all adding extra stuff. So y'all should pay for that. Yeah. Your little brother should pay for all that money he talking about he got. Yeah, rest in peace, Big Scar, wow. though, man. You know what I mean? Free Pooh Shiesty. You know, that nigga, that nigga the whole label gone, fam. That nigga, that man. Critter, like, free man. man. I can't, you I can't know, say you free know, these Gucci niggas. Done Gucci done went boy? through it. Gucci done went through it. Hot Boy West locked up, too. What? Yeah, Hot Boy West is. I'm not for sure what he, what kind of case he when got, yeah. but Hot Boy West is locked up when I know. I'm not for sure, but niggas. When been, did this supposed to happen? I ain't, I ain't heard him in a minute. Niggas been telling me for the last few weeks. I don't know what kind of case he got. I don't know, but niggas been telling me you heard Hot Boy West got locked up. I'm like, shit, I didn't know. You know what I mean? I didn't know. I didn't I didn't know. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm not for sure, man. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I'm oh, man, most definitely, right bro. We're going to do this over again. Hopefully, you'll come back and bless me again with your presence. you always welcome here, man. you one of them guys. You wore the Boss Talk jacket. we finna get you another one. Oh, yeah, I need that, you know bro. I'm we got to get you a hoodie or a jacket yeah. or something. Probably get you a hoodie. Cause we, yeah. you, you, did we I need get that gold. You, you got me a jacket. You got me a whole, I got the whole, with my name on it, nigga. Hey, I, I want that gold and black you got on, nigga. Yeah. I, I want that, that too. I ain't got it. <laughs> I was just saying I want that. Yeah, yeah, I want that gold. Because black I, go with it, on. I go with a lot of my stuff I got. Okay, yeah. well we we gotta get yeah. that. Yeah. Look at nigga, this, this nigga, this nigga, nigga headphones matching his hoodie and shit. Come on, man. <laughs> exactly. You see this nigga, bro. Hey, you pay attention to that. <laughs> this nigga crazy, doing, bro. This nigga like, we ain't thinking of it like that. I ain't thinking of it like that because I ain't never think him say he ain't saying nothing about that. I peep that, man. Yeah, I peep what niggas up to, man. I see what's going on here. Hey, you match you too. You dope, man. I love your show, man. I'm always support you, man. Anything you do, and when I do my first open for him, where I Bring people up, you gonna be one of those Bro, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm turning this bitch up, I man. I rock with yeah, you like, yeah, like I'm, for I'm real. Going, going in every time, man. Salute to the whole Skull Gang. Like I said, salute Skull to the gang, Skull Gang, man. Bro. Stop. Hey, gonna, they say we gonna catch a Rico this year. They say I've been what? involved in here. They say I, my ass might catch a Rico this year. Hey, what? that's how somebody else told me. How can you catch Rico sitting at home on the phone? Exactly. That's why we laugh about it, man. Well, you know? well, yeah, niggas might be Rico this year. Because so, I'm on the phone all the yeah, time. Yeah, my whole so Skull Gang. I hope they got their shit together. Have you know me? Better y'all better because they do. Sauce Walker went through some man. Like like his people. We calling ourselves a gang and all that. You hear that? So yeah, we we, we eligible for a Rico
Because everybody taking them plea deals mm-hmm. and they saying they got to testify. Yeah. If you don't go to court, then what? I mean, they, they might probably go subpoena them niggas to they court. They got to go to court. It's cool. It's cool. But just, what happened to uh, Marlo Mike when he was boosting? He got up there and said some Thank you. Shit. Thank you. People don't understand that, bro. Even though you get on trial, go to, I mean, if you get on trial, that don't mean you have to snitch. You don't have to snitch, bro. I need all y'all know that. Remember just because you sit on that stand, you, don't mean you snitching. Remember, you can plead the fifth. Exactly. But remember, you can only plead the fifth and they ask you questions only contained yep. to you. If they ask you questions about anybody else, like, is this a gang, a criminal organization? They, they did they, ask that, those questions already. Exactly what I'm saying. So, look, far as you're walking out, nah, bro, I don't think they gave this many niggas probation. Remember this, bro. You know for a fact, at the end of the day, they, they, they run the system. They, if they want to let you go, they yeah. can, bro. They keep your ass if they want to. Yeah. With them letting this many niggas go on probation, even killers, niggas, they gave niggas 15, 20 years on probation. There's no way they let Young Thug go. There's no way we let th- that many niggas go to let him go. Now, nah, Young Thug going to get about, I, I'm predicting Young Thug going to get about 10, 15 years, maybe a 20 piece. That's what I'm predicting. That's what, you know what, and that's what, bro, uh, I don't think so. What that's that's what I think so, bro, bro, Listen, yeah. when High Boy West came on here, yeah, he said that. That's what he, I'm feeling, He bro. said that from the jump. He, that might, he, may, he, he might remember the state Rico, so he might he might be able to do about ten years, bro. Five years. If he do ten, he might be able to come home. And a he book. come home in like Listen, five years, man, four I years. Think, I don't think he's going. Yeah. I don't think he's going. Think so? I don't think he's going. Remember this. Remember, no, look, we, we saying that. Remember this. The murder of Big Nut, Donovan Thomas, is YFA and Lucci, big homie who got murdered. That was Correct. also that was also Rich Homie Quan manager. Remember, they got niggas that's gonna come in court and say. Young Thug gave us the vehicle to go kill him. Young Thug seen Donovan Mitchell come out the barbershop and Don, Donovan Thomas come out the barbershop, gave us the car and told us to go get him. We went and got him, gave that nigga the car back, and he did us some money and told us to go lay low. This is what the prosecutor's reading off paperwork, bro, in court already saying, this is what our witnesses are uh, going to say about Young Thug. They did say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Young Thug. I, I forgot that. Yeah. Yeah. So he ain't they getting out. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not saying he can't get out, but at the same time, it's like if they go on stand and say different stuff, it's going to be up to the jury then. Yeah. So like, it, you think he, it, so? This trial, you saying it can be hung and all kinds of stuff. You ain't hear what the jury doing? Saying. No, you ain't hear what the jury doing. Every time they, every time uh, they get uh, the jury get called, one of them always gone. Like one of them was uh, isn't wasn't uh, uh, the lawyer. No, 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 no. It was a jury. They did the jury trial. Oh, I mean, yeah. did the jury pick. Well, I heard, I heard one of the jurors was actually in the yeah. thug lawyer inbox trying to trying to let them niggas know. Hey, fam, I fuck with you niggas, fam. I got it. Yeah, Don't worry about that's it, what nigga. it was. I got it, nigga. We, 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 we gonna make sure you go home. He was out the country and two that and uh. He had to go. To, he had to come to court a day. He was out of country. The judge told him if uh whenever he come back in, y'all bring him straight to me. Yeah. Wow. My nigga, Money Moses, man. Ah, yeah, like, my nigga, Money Moses, I ain't man. Him. Money Moses, he don't come on the show no more. Nigga, done pissed some nigga, done pissed him out. Money Moses, he beat your ass back on the platform, no, he man. Pissed, like, he pissed me out, but same time, it's like it's like I, I, like I told I him, fuck with it's you, like, bro. I, I stopped fucking with a lot of people because I want to cleanse myself from all that all that retarded stuff. Yeah. Like I need yeah, to know. Yeah, shit do get retarded, exactly, my nigga. Bro. Real like, shit. He ain't lying, nigga. Father, man. He, that fatherhood, that yeah. would really be man. He went yep. viral with the kids already. You know, one million views. No, no, it was four million. Woo, that nigga. That nigga kid. Just with his kids. Nigga stunned on you real quick. What he say? No, 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 nigga. That's a four piece, nigga. That's a four million dollar run, nigga. Don't get it twisted. Nah, man. Salute to my nigga Moses. Man, thank you so much. Y'all niggas look. Y'all should look exactly the same. Look, this is what I'm saying. Y'all should look exactly the same than the first time I came. That's good. When niggas, when, when niggas say the same people around, they look the same to me. Shit going good. We're, it because mm-hmm. yeah. we're we, we not top heavy, man. Yeah. we just the same old two step. Now, salute to Miss Jamaica, man. Salute to y'all. Man, you thank you, you so much. Oh, it's Dallas, coming. Dallas we finna working. shut it down. Man, I, don't like working, bro. Huh? Yeah, I don't like people like this. You so. love people. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm Besides right the rainwater, rainwater said he don't Salute love people like, like don't tell him he love you when you get out the phone. I, I, I seen him say that. I didn't feel that. I didn't feel that. For the record, for the record, for the record, I'm not one of them niggas. I didn't feel that. I'm gonna be honest with you. I felt like it was a. I'm not. And I hope he see this too because I've been speaking on it. I felt like you don't know the definition of love. From the standpoint that I know it, love the, every love is not the same. Eros love is a love of romance. But, but Bro, don't listen, say that listen, listen. About fake love though. Uh, that's what he yeah, talking he about. But there's love. four different types that I know of that yeah. I think of. I don't love a nigga like I, I, it's different types of levels yeah. of love, bro. So I ain't just when I tell a nigga I love you, bro. I want to see you win. I'm promoting that nigga to make it. Yeah. When you leave boss talk, I'm gonna tell you, nigga, I love you. Go get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm coming. I'm with see, it. Rain told them niggas be like, hey fam, I got a new, I got a new mistake. You know, I got a new, I got a new song. I'm gonna send it to you. You heard <laughs> that? Rain, Rain be going through it, man. All right, fam. Well, just, hey, hit me up when you can. I love you, big bro. I hate that, bro. I hate that, bro. They always in my inbox talking about uh. 
Come watch my video. Show this, do this. How much you put a show this? Share this. I'm not want to do that shit, bro. Yeah, I don't want to show wow. y'all stuff. I don't want to do none of that, bro. So, the, so, so when you, I want to say this to, to all the ladies to be in my inbox, man. It's a lot of butt naked in my inbox. It's a lot of men's wives in my inbox. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, what? Lot. Yeah, and it's, it's some, it's some old. We talking, talking about niggas, some 70, 60 year old bitches too. Like, yeah, this get out of hand. Fair, like, yeah, bro. Like, it's a lot of, of it's a lot of butt <laughs> naked in my bro. My inbox is filled up, bro. You feel really? Me? Yeah. One woman was asking me the other day to have a PO box. She wanted to send me a draws. I said, nah, oh, yeah. Not, yeah, that's why I ain't got no P.O. box yet. I'm like, nah, yeah, we ain't doing all that shit. on the next level with yeah, it, y'all. Bro. I ain't trying to get that far yet. Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> that shit gonna scare me. That shit is scary, that shit my nigga. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? So, Thank so, you, man. So how can people get a hold of you if they trying to come on the show or they trying to link with you, man? Man, look, bro, y'all gotta follow me on Instagram, C-H-R-I-S underscore S-K-O. Make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel, Just Say No to Sko and Say No to Sko TV. Follow me on Facebook. Follow all my shows. Like I said, we got shows, man. Follow all the all my moderators, all the girls that be, you know, in my chat, man. Um, salute to everybody, man. That's rocking with me, fam. You did. We doing big shit over there. We gonna continue to do bigger shit. It's just now. Even we just now starting, fam. We just now start. We got a lot. I got a lot of work to do. And we got a long way to go, fam. You did. But you know me. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep pulling up, fam. Man, next year it'll be bigger. I'll be back again. You gonna come back for next year, man? Yeah. Check it, man. It's going down, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, man. Sco in the building. Sco gang, rock hard with these cats, man. Let it go. 